Welcome to the Process Model Training Series. In this video, you'll learn basic editing of output reports, how to show the performance of a system, and how to compare the results from different models. One of the three primary purposes of a model is to compare the effectiveness of changes to a process. The output report is a pillar on which comparisons can be made both within and between models. The output report consists of two main areas, standard reports, which provide instant information with some customization. These reports are automatic to help you uncover important opportunities. And custom reports, which allow comparative statistics, graphs, charts, and text on the same report. These are the reports that compare proposed options and provide excellent presentation material. Let's start with the basics. After running the model, use the dialog or manually select the output icon to open the output. There's a ton of predefined statistics providing many useful reports. Click on the tabs to quickly move between major report categories. Then within a section, use the mouse wheel to scroll through rows. Names present in the output in the order of how you place them on the layout. Alphabetize the names by clicking on the header. All columns sort using the same method. This technique quickly identifies critical information, such as where entities spend most of their time, or where a large quantity of entities remain at the end of the simulation, or locations that might become a bottleneck, or ones that are habitually underutilized, etc. Use the column icon to hide any column statistics not important to your goal. For example, if you decide not to include cost in the model, showing the cost column provides no useful information, so hide it. Use the tab icon to hide any irrelevant report category. For example, if your model doesn't include resources, then showing the resource report would be confusing, so hide it as well. Rearrange tabs by dragging a tab to a new position. Show the information in order of importance to your presentation. After running scenarios or replications, the tree menu shows available scenarios and replications. Clicking on the parent of a group of replications shows the average of the group. After running replications, use the stat icon in the ribbon menu to enable additional information, such as the min and max, confidence intervals, etc. Customize the look of all reports using the theme icon from the ribbon. Fonts, colors, accents all change to popular and tested themes. You can even change the look of the Smart Stats program. The style menu changes the frames, headers, and menus to match your presentation. Within a few seconds, you've isolated the information important to your specific system and customized the look and feel. Custom Reports provides a method to create a comparative view of specific statistics. To create a custom report, click on the New Report button. Click on the Stat icon. Then, click on the starting point for the stat and select the statistic you want to compare. For example, your organization might have several key performance indicators. In the output report, these statistics are called smart stats. Smart stats continue to work whether running a single run, multiple scenarios, replications, scenarios with replications, or even multiple model files. Notice the report expands and contracts as needed depending on the type of simulation run. Uh, wait, did you say we could compare statistics from multiple model files? Absolutely! Compare the same statistic on a single report from files with different model names. Comparing statistics from different models on the same report is easy to set up and 
a powerful tool for identifying improvements. You can see more information and practice comparing multiple models in the second segment of this training section. You can add graphs and charts to the same report. Time series charts plot the value of a variable over time. These charts show critical information, key performance indicators that relate to time. For example, you could plot waiting time by the time of day to show if there was a pattern illustrating waiting became a problem. Make a time series chart by selecting the time series button. Drag out the size of the chart, then selecting the variable or variable to display. Make common modifications using the ribbon icon. For example, you could change titles, access details, time units, basic style of plot, line style and color. You could even display the average overlaid on the plot and many other options. Or select the advanced button to make detailed modifications. The histogram button summarizes the values returned for any variable and allows you to see the shape of the distribution. For example, you could observe the production times recorded for cars being prepared for export. You can make judgments about the system, such as, are more of the values higher or lower in the range? Does the data follow natural patterns or is it unusual? Does the data contain outliers? Develop a histogram in the same manner as the time series chart. There are selectable rules for determining the bin width of the histogram. These rules help you to present the best representation for your data. If you have discrete data, then the graph automatically presents as a discrete graph. State and utilization charts are useful for quickly seeing what your locations and resources spent their time doing. Such visualizations can help you identify problem areas in your process. Pie graphs isolate the state information for individual resources or locations. Add images to the layout. For example, you might want to add a company logo to personalize the report. Add text to clarify information. If you save the report before exiting, the report returns in the exact position as you left it the next time you run the model. So you'll see the same active report as viewed previously with all the formatting, columns, color, etc. And you won't see the things detracting from your goal. You can add as many custom reports as you want. Prepare different reports for different audiences. For example, a process improvement review group might need to verify statistical methods whereas the manager bypasses statistical detail, knowing the structure of the previous review. She wants to see the bottom line and how you got there, or be ready just in case the decision maker decides to drill down. It's all at your fingertips. Well, that's the basics of the output report. Now try smart stats for yourself. Download the model Output 1 and follow the instructions on the webpage.